Hello guys, my name is Sumit and you are watching CTX Cloud Tech videos. This is the video number 4 in our VAM training series. Today we are going to install our VAM agent into the master image and we are going to deploy this agent on uh, other uh, servers. For that let me go inside my vCenter. So let me go here. So this is my vCenter. Let me power on my master image. So this is my Windows 2019 master image and I have powered on this image. Let me expand this. So just wait for one or two minutes so that it can be powered on and after that we are going to install the VAM agent into this master image. So my master image has been powered on now. Let me go inside this master image. So this is a master VM for MCS and I am going to deploy the VAM agent into this master image and after that I am going to upload, upload update my machine catalog. So CTX cloud slash administrator and this is the password so guys finally my master vm has been updated i mean uh, powered on and i'm inside my master vm after that i am going to mount the iso of citrix vem 1912 lts so click on edit and here i am going to go go i'm going inside my data store so click on data store iso go to nfs iso and here i have a vem iso so this is citrix vem 1912 uh, 1912 iso so just select this and after that click here connected click on ok now let me go inside this master, master image and let me see if this is mounted or not so you guys can see that there is a notification here that we a new drive dvd drive has been added into this master vm so i am going to open file explorer here go to this pc and after that right click on this dvd click on open here you we have i have the workspace environment manager 1912 so double click here and i have to select only the agent here so right click here on the agent click on run as administrator I have to select all the terms and conditions by the Citrix. Click on install. So guys, there is two ways to configure this VAM agent. First is uh, the first way is I'm showing right now. Uh, it's, it's a manual process. And the second one, you guys can configure this via group policy also. So we will see in our next video how we can implement this via group policy. So click on next here. So this is the default location where it is going to save. So this is C program files x86 Citrix workspace environment manager agent. Click on next. Here I am selecting on premises deployment. Click on next. Here you guys have to give the infrastructure server's name here. But I have load balanced my VAM both the both of my VAM servers on the Netscaler. So you guys can watch my previous video how you guys can load balance your VAM servers on the Netscaler. So I have already done that. So here I am going to enter the unique uh, I mean VIP of the Netscaler. So this is VAM.ctxcloud.in and this is the port default port for the agent is 8286 and cache sync is 8288. Click on next. Here uh, also if you guys are deploying this via uh, group policy so you guys have to select this option skip configuration and we will push the configuration via group policy and this is what we are going to see in our next video so this is the manual process if you guys want to install i mean give the all the instructions while installing so you guys can give here this is vem.ctxcloud.in click on next this is the default I mean options if you want to save the cache of VAM agent so you guys can select here but I am giving I am going with the default options here click on next click on install so it start installing right now so you guys can see that the VAM agent installation has been completed now click on finish click on close click on close here I have to unmount the ISO here click right click click on edit and click on client device click on ok after that I am going to reboot this servers so just right click 
click on and shut down click on restart click on continue so my machine is back after reboot so let me shut down it properly so just said alt control delete enter the password here <coughs> now just do a shutdown from here right click click on shutdown so once shutdown is completed I have to go on my master image right click take the snapshot here uh, here is the right click snapshot take a snapshot and I am giving the name after vem agent hyphen installation click on ok so it will take like one or two seconds to complete now I have to go on my XTC server so let me go inside my XTC server so just wait this is XTC1 just wait just wait and here is my XTC server 1 which is the delivery controller so now I have the delivery group where I have the three servers here it's taking time to refresh so just wait so now I have three servers here and I want to implement the VAM agent on all, all the three servers for that I have to update my machine catalog so go inside your machine catalog right click here click on update machines click on next here you have to select your master image so this is my master image and after that I have taken the snapshot after VAM agent installation select here click on next so it is asking on next reboot or immediately and restart the machine so I am I am updating in this on next shutdown so click on next click on finish so it will take some time so guys after that I am going to reboot these servers and we will meet in our, in our next video so if you guys have any question regarding uh, this video so just put your comments in the comment section and I will reply and stay connected with the CTS Cloud subscribe my channel for uh, these videos thank you thank you so much guys